Hey guys, how's it going? This is going to be episode 5 of my weekly series I do where I talk about gaming news, TV shows, and movies, but mostly gaming. Um, so this week there were quite a few things that I liked, a few things I didn't like, um, and uh, yeah, we will talk about those, but first I want to give a shout out to one of my buddies who's trying to start out on YouTube. Um, he hasn't uploaded in a while. Well, he uploaded one the other day, an unboxing of the Order 1886. But um, he's going to try and start back up because he hasn't uh, did it in a while. And he's trying to grow a little bit and he's, he's having uh, difficulties right now. So um, I will show you a picture real quick. So that picture I just showed you uh, is like his image right now. has all his um, names on his uh, things on there like his Twitter and Facebook and stuff like that. I'll put the link to his channel in the description below if you uh, didn't look it up on YouTube from that picture because it's only there for a couple seconds. But um, yeah, he's a cool guy. Um, hopefully we can collab someday or something. Uh, but I can't do that right now because I can't do that kind of stuff on my PC. But um, yeah. And the first big news story this week is The Order 1886 came out. Um, the guys who released it are kind of mad because people are giving it a lot of hate. I'm um, saying it's too short. Um, it's about five hours long. I haven't played it. Um, but, man, five hours long, that's... For a $60 game, that's pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. Um, if, I wanna play, if I'm paying $60 for a game, I want to get quite a few hours out of it, like Skyrim or Fallout. Just, I played those games for hours on end, and I had endless fun in them. But five hours, that's pretty sad. I'm not going to lie. Sony says that The Last Guardian is still in development. No, Sony's long in development PlayStation game The Last Guardian has not been cancelled. After Sony abandoned the game's trademark this week, the company spoke out to confirm that this was an administrative error. The game remains in development, but there's still no word on when we'll see it next or if it becomes a PlayStation 4 game. Hotline Miami 2 is getting a tie-in comic book series. Hotline Miami, um, wasn't that that weird game where you could like dress up as a... Uh, that wear like costumes and stuff and do weird things. I don't even remember. I never really played it, but I, I did quite uh, hear about it. Um, I remember it was kind of famous. But I don't know. A comic book series on the game. That's pretty cool. That's always interesting when uh, things like that happen. Whenever they make a movie, it's usually a bad movie though. Like the Mortal Kombat movie or the Mario Bros. movie. Those are both pretty horrible. <laughs> Indie developer Skyshine Games and publisher Versus Evil announced this week. That the Kickstarter funded post apocalyptic roguelike game Bedlam will launch for on Steam this summer. Haven't heard of Bedlam? The game tests players to command a motley crew of badass humans, mutants, robots, and cyborgs as they navigate the treacherous wastelands in search of the rumored utopia of Aztec City. Oh man, sounds intense. <laughs> oh, I love post apocalyptic anything uh, movies, games, books. I love them all. I just love post apocalyptic stuff in general. That's definitely my favorite genre. Esports, esports, esports. The United Kingdom is getting its first dedicated esports arena. It was announced this week. Eurogamer reports VUE Cinemas has partnered with Gfinity to transform part of the View Full On Broadway Multiplex into a dedicated 600 person esports venue to be called the Gfinity Arena. It is set to open in March. Uh, I was recently watching the um, League of Legends uh, North America LCS tournament thing. Uh, I've been watching it almost daily. I think they have one daily. I'm not sure. On Twitch, though, um, I love watching the eSport things like that. They're so, so awesome. Much better than like football and things like that, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, some people don't like eSports, but I certainly do. Now, this one I really like. There might be a Predator DLC coming to Mortal Kombat X. Um, well, I love the Predator movie so much. Uh, Mortal Kombat X is not out yet, but oh wow, if they put a Predator in there, that'd be awesome. Um, even as a DLC, I'd pay for that. That'd be cool. Like, they had, um, Freddy, uh, whatever his name is. And, um, the last Mortal Kombat, Freddy, uh, uh Freddy Krueger. They had him in there, and that was quite interesting, so hopefully they do this, because that'd be awesome. Paradox Interactive this week announced that the latest expansion for its Empire Building strategy game, Europa, Europa, Universalis, Four will be released on February 26th. I think I talked about this last week. I don't know. I remember talking about the city building stuff. I didn't like it all, though, but... I don't know. But I remember Paradox Interactive from last week. I know that. 
But a city building game, I do not like city building games. I told you guys that <laughs> last week. But um, yeah, there would be a DLC type thing, I guess, coming out February 26th. So keep an eye out for that. <laughs> Not sure about whether or not you want to buy the upcoming over the top Xbox roller coaster game, Scream Ride. You're in luck, as Microsoft this week launched a demo for the game on Xbox 360 and Xbox One. You can download it now. And that is all the news stories for this week in gaming that I found interesting, notable. Uh, some not very notable, some not very interesting, but it is what it is. I put them together in a little bundle. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, Remember to hit the like button below, subscribe, share the video, I really appreciate it all. Remember to check out my friend Jay Phoenix's uh, channel, Love Clock on YouTube. Uh, not sure what his Twitter is, I think it's Love Clock too, but not positive. So thanks for watching though, you guys. Uh, remember to stay awesome, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.